So this is a quick run through through the down patching process of TSS. So first of all, make sure your game is completely updated. And you can also verify the integrity of the game files through Steam if you want to make sure everything's fine. Then after that, press Windows plus R and then type in the command Steam Open Console. Then you will copy this command from the guide. I won't run it now because I already have it downloaded. But run this. It will download the downpatched game files. And if you want to check the process, oops, process of it, you can go to either your task manager and check that the send and receive activity is basically close to zero when you're not doing anything. Like as you can see in the picture, when I'm downloading it, I have 100 meg megabits down. Downloading. Or receiving, I guess. Then you will find the down patched version in Steam Apps Conan app. Make sure this app is the correct number as well. So this is everything you need. The down patch this the whole whole version. You can check that the size matches as well here. Make sure that the um the download is finished. Steam will also say the console something about download finishing. That's not really consistent, so make sure everything's everything's completed before doing anything else. So after that you will First of all, only have one TSS folder. Like, as you can see, I have two, but it's because I've done this already. So you'll only have this one. If you want to have both patches installed at the same time, you will take this folder, rename it to current, or something else, so Steam doesn't know that you have two patches installed, right? Um. And then, after renaming that, you will create a new folder and give it this exact name. So, Steam will run that, or find the exe from that folder instead. And if you're doing only one installed version, so you will only have the down patch, what you're gonna do is delete everything except the DLC. These CP underscore files are the DLC of the game. So just take everything, but them, and delete them. Before doing any of this, you might want to close Steam just to make sure. Just to make sure Steam doesn't actually do anything while while we are moving the files. Then after the download is complete, you've checked the, um, the size matches and everything. You will just copy everything from here. Go to your folder in Steam Apps Common. And then just paste everything here. After that, you will go one folder up. Find the app manifest 920210. And here on line 7, you will find a state flex. And change this to a 4 if it's not already that. So Steam knows that the, um, the game is updated. After that, right click properties and then check read only. So Steam can't actually change the file and um, start downloading the update. I'm not 100% sure if this actually works. Because there used to be a way of doing this with a um, Steam console command. But according to the internet it should work the same.
then after you've done that you are pretty much good to go just open up steam if you want to be careful or if steam at any point tries to update the game like you can play in offline mode on steam so it won't even ch check for the updates but if at any time you see a update pending here you basically have to restart this whole thing so copy the down patch files again and replace them you see if even one bit changes it fucks up everything but yeah you should be able to play the down patch after doing all of this